Hi, this is Kevin for Pixelvert.com. In this video, we are looking at chromatic aberration in Photoshop. We're going to be creating chromatic aberration using channels. We start off by going to Window, Arrange, and New Document, then Window, Arrange, two up vertical. We're going to work on the image on the right. We go to channels and select the blue channel. Notice that the channel is the only one with the eye and the only one highlighted. In the other document, the eyes are visible on all the channels, but only the blue is selected. So we're going to be working on the blue channel and we're going to apply a filter. We can go to Camera Raw, go to the Lens Correction, and then apply Distortion. As you can see, this creates a chromatic aberration effect, and the effect will be typically a lot more noticeable towards the edges than towards the center. The other thing we can do, let me undo that, is to do a free transform. So working here again, I'm going to choose Select All, Edit, Free Transform, and then I'm going to lock the Width and Height options, and then just basically increase the Width and Height, or decrease the Width and Height. Let's go and see what that does. I'm going to go for a much deeper effect so you can actually see it. And as you can see, we're getting this kind of color fringing at edges of high contrast. You probably want to go a lot less deep and a lot less severe than I've done here. But just to be able to show you the effect, I'm going to keep it at this really massive amount. We'll hit OK. And then I'm going to choose Image Crop because there is an area at the borders of the image where the blue channel is no longer visible. Let's go to this image here, choose Window, Consolidate all to tabs, and we can select all the channels, and we can see the results of our actions. Select, deselect, and I'm going to zoom in. And that's the chromatic aberration effect inside of Photoshop. You can play around with the other channels if you want to, or if you feel this kind of effect is just what you're looking for, then that's all good. That's going to be it for this video. Hope you found that useful. Till next time, bye.